Today we're looking at job number 13346 and it's a little bit different to our standard jobs. This is a smart car SAM unit. And look, the PCB itself actually bends and it makes me cringe every time I have to bend it. We have individual fuses that go into the actual PCB itself, but this one specifically has some water damage, as you can see. I've done a repair on one of these before and it was because of just dry solder joints. Apparently this happens a lot with the units. And I believe that the customer thought that that's what might be the issue here. However, it is in fact water damage. So we've contacted the customer, we've told them about the water damage and we've said, this is how much it's gonna to cost to repair. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to test it in the shop and this is gonna be the quote, regardless if it's fixed or not. And the customer has agreed and they're happy to go ahead. If I can see any dry solder joints along the way, I'll correct those, but my main priority here is going to be the water damage. So let's head on over to the scope. How bad are we actually looking? So here we have that damage. Don't know if it's torn any traces. It, I mean, it looks like it has. Let's turn off that light. It's just corroded them away. I believe these thinner green traces here, they're all ground. So we don't necessarily need to worry about this track here. The traces we need to worry about are the thicker ones. We can see that we have a solder joint here, as well as here, 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 and here. I need to clean up this area so I can get a better view. We also have a bit more water damage, but that's not too bad, to be honest. My best friend here is actually gonna be continuity mode with the multimeter to make sure that we have a connection going from point A to point B. Let me clear this up. I've taken a mental note of where all of this is. Nice hard brush with some IPA to get all of this water damage off. Look at that, there we go. Perfect. Beautiful. I think we've caught it just in time where it's not enough to actually corrode the traces in the joints. So that is good news. Yeah, we can see that these uh, these joints here look a little bit rusty, as you can see. And how is the, the main one, which was really bad, is up here. Again, we just need to go over these jo joints. With that water damage cleaned up, it doesn't look half as bad as what it did, hey? Just try all of that off now. Just scraping away this. Now, obviously, this mask shouldn't come off as easy as what it literally just has. So, And again, this could indicate just weakness and, and corrosion. So I'll put some uh, solder mask over these exposed bits but these small thin green traces in between the thicker lines they don't necessarily matter too much like i said it's all ground but i want to again just try and get as much corrosion up as i can because then we're not going to have any spread again we're now just going to go over a lot of the solder joints on this board entirely because we're going to have some cracks it's stuff like like this for example i mean yeah majority of it looks fine but eventually over time this crack is going to go around the joint and then we're not going to get a stable connection and that's going to cause all sorts of issue on the car like flashing likes on the dash etc 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 so we're just going to go over all of the joints and just put some leaded solder just to ensure that we have that strong connection now because actually looking at that because i had a tiny bit of the corrosion i'm actually going to wick this solder up and on this one specifically just apply all fresh leaded solder i'll only do that on the ones that have been hit quite heavy with the damage, with the water damage, the corrosion, because there is a lot of solder joints on this board. There we go. You might not be able to see it very clearly, but that's a much better domed joint now, and it should last us a very long time. And again, more of a rinse and repeat process for the ones that didn't have the water damage on. Go over the board. So this is where, again, we had majority of the uh, the liquid damage. So for these five here, I'm going to wick up the solder that was there. It's majority of that cleaned up. And again, just adding that nice, fresh solder. Much better. You're not going to be able to get every single one perfect, but okay, that area looks a lot better. With these soldier joints being cracked, it doesn't necessarily mean that the SAM unit itself is just going to stop working. That's that's not the case with these. It's more so, like I said, about intermittent issues from flashing lights on the dash, etc. I've seen it commonly before where these ones are quite dry. It doesn't seem to be moving. The pin doesn't seem to be moving, but I still want to go over it because you can see just around it that these are starting to become loose. So again, just some leaded solder and reflowing it.
There we go. That look better. How are we looking elsewhere? Looking okay. Again, specifically just looking for crack joints here. A couple in this area. Continue looking around, just see if we have any more bad joints. What I will say is that these ones aren't as bad as the what the unit that I've dealt with previously. They were really, really cracked. These ones just seem to have a few holes in every now and again. I think the majority of our issue was caused by that water damage, to be honest. The corrosion maybe bridging a few pins. Here we go as well. You can see, I think more so specifically this one. Look at that. See the cracks in the solder joints here. Again, not to the point of wiggling just yet, but not good. So I'll go all over. Look at these. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is screaming intermittent issues as well as the fact this is right on the bend. So this is where the PCB bends. I'll just line up this whole area with some flux. And go over it. Now a lot of clean up to do with the flux. Don't need to use IPA for this part just yet. Just get what we can up without the isoprop alcohol. Now come on with our brush and IPA. We look a lot better now. Yeah, those joints look a lot better than what they were. These ones are ground over here, but again, still. Why not? Whilst we're here. Another quick final inspection, especially on the uh, the curved edges that we were talking about, which is mainly here. These will look okay. Back over this way. These ones look all right. And of course, the solder mask just here. Make sure we've got a clean area and also make sure it's dry. Take a little bit of that solder mask on the end of our tweezer. Just put it here. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Now we just wait for the UV mask to cure and then we can book this out and hopefully have another happy customer. Like I said, I will leave a pinned comment on this video letting you know if this worked or not for the customer. Fingers crossed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.